Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, today is my first trip out on the water in my new kayak. This is an Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 136. It's got the Minn Kota Power Drive motor with iPilot. And so I'm just getting it out on the water today and getting a feel for the kayak, getting used to the motor, learning how to operate it. And I've got some poles with me here too. We're gonna put some fish in this thing today to get this thing slimed up and get it properly christened. So this kayak, man, first thing I noticed about it getting in today was the stability. I'm gonna just kind of put my weight here on one leg. And I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this thing is just rock solid. When I go to switch weight to the other leg, you can see there's very, very little movement there. And I was just immediately impressed with how stable this thing is. There's gonna be no problem at all landing big trophy size catfish in this thing. Now the motor, very simple to operate. So it just clicks into place there when you install it, plugs in right there with that little port. And to drop the motor in, you've got this pull cord here. And so right now I've got it locked into place. So let's say you're coming up to shore, you're getting ready to beach your kayak. You just release this cleat, motor pops right up. Very simple for you. It's the prop automatically aligns down there as it pulls up through that cavity. Now, when you're ready to, to launch and, and start using the motor, do the same thing in reverse. You just pull this cord down, lock it in place, and you heard that beeping noise that lets you know that the motor's engaged and ready to go. From there, you just operate everything here with the remote. So this button here in the center turns your prop on. You've got a little anchor button there, that's your spot lock. This north button is that button that I mentioned in my last video that allows you to hold your course regardless of wind or current or boat wake. It will hold that line. You've got uh, functions on here where you can save your routes. It's very technologically advanced, y'all. I mean, there's a lot of cool features that this motor and this little iPilot remote here allows you to do. So I'm just kind of getting a feel for it out here today. I did work my way through the speed levels on the way up through here where I'm gonna be fishing. About 4.3 miles an hour was the top speed I got to. Now, understand out here today, conditions are just about perfect. There's no current, the water's flat calm. So I think 4.3 is gonna be the top speed for this kayak on level 10. Now I don't have a graph installed on this kayak, so I'm getting those numbers off the iPilot remote here. So once I get a graph installed, we'll be able to just kind of double check those speed settings, but uh, pretty impressed with the speed overall on, on level 10. Now obviously when you're operating on level 10, you're gonna burn through your battery very quickly. So you probably don't wanna use that a whole lot, but uh, I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery, so I'm not gonna run out of juice very soon on this kayak. So again, I'm just kind of getting a feel for this thing today. See, I've got a camera mount set up here. I'm gonna try to get that dialed in here before we do any catfishing videos. And again, just try to figure out, you know, where do I wanna put rod holders? Where can I easily reach them without interfering with things? Uh, where do I wanna put my graph? You know, things like that. I mean, I see a lot of people, the first thing they do when they buy a kayak, take it home and start rigging it out. And personally, I think that's a mistake. I think you need to get out on the water and just get some seat time in the thing and, and figure out what you wanna do with it. So what I wanna do with this kayak right now is get over here and catch me some fish in it. Let's do it. So I just turned my prop on there. This little plus and minus is how you operate your speed. So we'll get ourselves going. Now there's two ways to steer. You can use your directional arrows here, like so or you can point the motor straight and steer with your pedals. You've got this lever here that operates a rudder there in the back. So you put your rudder down and then you can just use your feet to steer with. So if you're trolling along, you wanna be truly hands-free, just operate with your feet, simple as that. So I'm gonna get over here on the shoreline. We'll start making some casts, see if we can catch some fish in this thing. Before we do that though, we're gonna play with the spot lock feature. So I'm moving along right now, uh, 2.6 miles an hour. So we're gonna to come to an abrupt halt. Watch this, spot lock. Here we go. You can see the motor operating there to hold me on that spot that I was, when I hit that button there, it locks me in. And that actually wasn't bad. You know, one of my concerns was when you hit that spot lock button, 
how herky-jerky was it going to be? Was it going to kind of fling your weight to one side or the other in the kayak and maybe get you off balance? And you know, moving right there two and a half miles an hour when I hit that button, uh, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Didn't want to throw me. I didn't get off balance or anything. So pretty cool. All right, well, let's start making some casts here and get our first fish in this thing. I got a fish after it right here. He's got it. He's swimming with it. I feel the weight of him. We got him. Oh, it's just a little thing. A little thing, but this is going to be our first one in the new kayak. We got us a smallmouth. Smallmouth on the TRD worm there with a crappie slider jig head. First one in the new kayak. And we've got nowhere to go but up from here from the size of him. <laughs> Let's let him go. Got one hitting it right here. He's got it. Yeah, there he is. That's a smallmouth. Yeah. Man. Another small one. That's all right. Get that camera set right. There we go. There we go. Another little small, small mouth. I ain't complaining though. They all fun. They pull hard. That motor, man. I've got it on spot lock right here by this dock. You see, I got just a little bit of wind right now. Not bad, but it's enough that I'd be fighting the wind and the kayak to try to hold my position here. By the time I'd make a cast, I'd have to either paddle or pedal or do something, you know, to normally just to try to get myself back in position. And here, it's all about fishing with that motor. I can just keep making cast after cast after cast and not have to worry about my position in the kayak because it's doing it for me. I'm on autopilot, like the name suggests. Got a fish right here. There he is. That's on the gulp minnow right there, my ultralight rod. I still don't know what he is. Oh, that's a good smallmouth. Good smallmouth right there, folks. Yeah, <laughs> he's a jumping too. <laughs> Heck yeah, look at that thing. Awesome, man. Let's land him. All right, folks, there he is, our best smallmouth of the morning. Awesome. That was a lot of fun right there. See you, buddy. Unsung hero on this kayak, folks is these front molded in rod holders. You actually got one here on this side and one on the other. When you're landing fish, you need somewhere to set your rod down real fast. Right there, that's a pretty awesome feature. We've got a little action right here. Yep, he's got it. Fish on, fish on. Another smallmouth. There's a log right over there. You can see the top of it. There's a drag. No, no, I lied to you. That's actually a largemouth right there, folks. That's what he eat, a little TRD worm, just a largemouth. First come up, I thought he was a smallmouth. There's a log right over there. You can see the top of it just at the water line, and I was dragging that little worm right there beside it. And he gobbled it up. I'm gonna throw in there again and see if I can get some more. This is, you know, again, I keep talking about this dang motor. I'm on spot lock right now. I had a boat go by a minute or so ago and there's just a little bit of boat wake from it. But in the time that I hooked and landed that fish, fact is I would have been blown up on the shore by now if it wasn't for that motor. So I would have had to have got to paddle out or got myself repositioned before I could make my next cast and now I'm sitting here right where I want to be I'm ready to cast again I got a fish right there yep he's on there he was swimming with it yeah that's a that's a oh look at that that's a better fish right there folks 
that's a better fish. Oh, it's just another one of them old hard pulling smallmouth. Boom. <laughs> it was pulling hard, man. I thought I was bringing that worm over a, in between some rocks or over a rough log and a daggone smolly swimming with it. <laughs> well, that one there ate that TRD worm again. That's a pretty good smallmouth right there. I'll take them anytime I can get them. Let's send him home. See you, Smalley. All right, guys. Well, today was just a short trip out here. I just wanted to get on the water a couple hours, try out this new kayak, maybe catch some fish in it, which fortunately I was able to get a few of those. But I'll tell you something. This motor here, I really like it. Having access to all these special functions, it really makes fishing a whole lot easier. But uh, I've got some parts ordered for this thing so I can get my rod holders mounted on here solid. And once I get those in place, we'll get on the water, do some catfishing, and we'll really get this thing slimed up. But uh, day one in this kayak, I'm really liking it a whole lot. So if you want to learn more about this thing, I'll put a link down in the video description below. That'll take you to the Old Town website there and answer all the questions that you might have about this kayak. But uh, yeah, guys, once I get those rod holders mounted on here, we'll get out there and have some real fun. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.